Telegraph Hill is the northeasternmost hill in neighborhood in San Francisco. Standing 294 feet above sea level, the hill is made of thick bedded gray wake, an immature variety of the sedimentary rock sandstone, but has traces of metamorphic minerals such as pompeliite. It was created when the now non-existent Farallon Plate subducted under the North American Plate creating a trench where sediments fell and hardened over millions of years. After the subduction was complete, the rock was uplifted and became northeast San Francisco. Over time, natural forces of erosion broke down the weaker materials, leaving us with hills, leaving the stronger, more erosion-resistant rocks standing today. While sandstone is stronger than the low-lying serpentine at Fort Point, it is still weaker than other rocks in San Francisco, such as chert, common at Corona Heights and Twin Peaks. The stronger rock makes them more erosion resistant, explaining their higher elevations. All of these rocks are part of the Franciscan Formation, a complex unique to the San Francisco area dominated by sandstone, with smaller amounts of shale, chert, limestone, among others. But human impacts have also shaped Telegraph Hill in numerous ways. San Francisco in the gold rush was booming and unregulated. Telegraph Hill was quickly covered with quarries, which mined and exploded its surface for materials to fuel the city's expansion. Much of the landfill, roads, and wharves of early San Francisco were made of rocks from Telegraph Hill. This has left the hill with huge exposed cliffs, especially along the more industrial east side. The biggest quarry was the Gray Brothers Quarry at Sansom and Green, which left a 200-foot cliff. In one notable event in 1891, boys broke into a storehouse at the site and set off dynamite, causing a massive landslide that injured multiple people. By the 1900s, civic groups pushed for the end of the damage, and by the 20s all of the quarries had shut down. In 1933, Coit Tower, a 210-foot tower, was built as a monument to San Francisco atop the hill. Hundreds of homes sit on the hill, with 2,292 people living on it as of 2020. Dozens of steep roads and staircases cover its faces. This put a lot of weight on the landscape, adding to the pressure on an already sinking peninsula. Very little of its natural appearance remains, and its use stands as an example of human engineering as much as natural. While natural processes took millions of years to make Telegraph Hill, it only took 150 or so years for humans to alter it beyond recognition.